Zach Simeone with the New Zulu News Update. After lying dormant 43 years, Chile's Cabuco volcano is waking up with a vengeance, erupting three times in the last eight days. The latest eruption on Thursday in Los Lagos, Chile, spouted a thick plume of smoke, prompting evacuations of around 1,500 in the vicinity, according to the latest reports. Experts are fearing acid rain and volcanic mud flow, as reported by The Independent. This eruption proved less severe than last week's activity, which evacuated three times as many people. Witnesses described hearing loud claps of thunder and saw dramatic bolts of lightning that shot across the glowing orange vent. A different kind of chaos erupted in Curitiba, Brazil on Wednesday. More than 100 people were injured as police fired tear gas and rubber bullets at teachers protesting changes to the state pension system. Lawmakers declared 33,000 retired teachers would be moved from state-funded pensions to a system that would place part of the burden on working teachers. Let's take a look at what transpired outside the Legislative Assembly building that day. International Workers' Day, or May Day, saw labor-related demonstrations around the world on Friday. People marched in Barcelona in a rally organized by Spain's two biggest trade unions, the CCOO and the UGT. Demonstrators called for urgent change in economic policies to highlight the current unemployment rate in Spain, which was at 23% as of January. In Greece, more than 25,000 people reportedly participated in similar marches, crying out against austerity. These photos show some of the estimated 13,000 protesters who took to the streets of Thessaloniki, while another 13,000 rallied in Athens. Greece, too, has struggled with its unemployment rate, which was at 26% by the end of 2014. Our contributors bring us images from similar protests in Macau, China, and Manila in the Philippines. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting.